Welcome again. In this lecture, we will talk about energy balance equation on a PV panel and its components. As we know from thermodynamics, energy in must be equal to the energy out from the system. This means that the incident solar irradiation should equal the generated power plus the loses. When the solar irradiation falls on a PV panel, a part of this irradiation is reflected back to the environment. This is due to first PV layer reflectivity, and this is can be defined as an optical radiative loss. However, as long as there is a wind velocity, there will be a mixed convective thermal loses, which means forced and natural convection heat transfer. These convective loses flow out from both upper and bottom PV surfaces. In addition, a radiative loss will be occurred due to the difference between PV temperature and the surrounding. Also, the generated energy is a thermal to electric converted energy. All of these energies should be involved in energy balance equation of the PV module. In this analysis, it is assumed that all the materials have a constant properties. Also, the upper EVA layer assumed to be fully transparent and the internal reflection is considered just between the EVA and the silicon cells. This is the energy balance equation in which the generated power is equal to the incident solar radiation minus the top thermal loses minus the bottom thermal loses minus the optical loses. Q optical is equal to the ETFE reflectivity multiplied by the incident solar radiation. The top surface thermal loses is given as the sum of forced and natural convective loses with the radiative loss from ETFE layer to the, to the environment. However, the mixed convection coefficient can be obtained from the following relations. These equations are already assembled for you in an Excel file that will simplify these calculations so there is no need to write them down. Also, the bottom surface thermal loses can be expressed in a similar way to the top thermal loses. And these are the correlations that determine the mixed bottom convective coefficient. You can find the Excel calculator for convective coefficients in the resources of this lecture. Please download the sheet which, will use, which we will use it in the boundary conditions lecture.